Right, well guys, uh, there's been some progress and here comes my little video helper to make noise. <laughs> it's just, right, what have I been doing? Um, well, I mounted the suspension and it wasn't very well mounted to be honest. Um, so I thought I'll redo it and then, you know, as you're doing something, you get ideas. Yeah, I had one of those ideas. Yes, I did. Because um, the parts um, to finish this build have started arriving. This is the first of my uh, Chinese, well, I'd say upgrades, but never had anything to upgrade. So, yeah, I've got another one of these uh, in that little baggie there. Um, so I've got two of these now. Uh, these are heavy duty. Uh, the only problem is they tend to lose this, these grub screws. Uh, that's what happened with the last one. These screws that go through the joints it lost one of those which is why it fell apart um right so uh i'll just thread lock those before i put that in right so what have i done um i've decided to remount the stair uh, the suspension like i said and i thought to myself well i've made this base for it and i thought i'm screwing it in the plastic it's bolted together it's glued it's full of holes um an idea thought right if i'm making um where are they i'll just bear with me a moment they're in this pile of rubbish here somewhere i made some um link mounts some hangers uh oh, there we go. i made these like heavy duty uh for the inner mounts for the inner uh these it's gonna be, i'm gonna surprise you but it's gonna be easier to just show you right i made these mounts for the inner of the four links and the outer four links i've made eh, those mounts for um, now they don't look too bad at all. Now, um, because I've made a metal back end, I decided to make a metal chassis. Um, yes, there we are. Um, like an idiot, I decided to make a metal chassis to replace this plastic one. Because uh, as you can see, it's it's floppy, it's broken. It's. I mean, I'm going to be covering it with carpet. So anyway, um, for anybody who wants to make. Anything out of metal, get you in some cardboard, and that's the best way to get your cardboard. <laughs> yes, I had to drink the whole pack to get the empty case. No, I didn't, but that's what I told my wife. Anyway, right, so what have I done? Now, this is all aluminium, but because it's all metal, it's starting to feel a bit of weight now. Um, I've made the back end... Um, uh, long story for any of the new subscribers um i have two of these this one's an excursion i've turned it from an f350 pickup into an excursion um so yes this is the new chassis um i'm quite impressed with how that turned out that actually looks almost professional there's a few untidy edges um which the camera isn't picking up thankfully um but Right, so this is all metal and it doesn't actually weigh much more than it did before with all the seating in. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I've got to... What have I got left to do? Um, I've uh, still got to end the transmission tunnel. I've got to f flare the end. Um, I need to decide whether to try and open that out because it's aluminium or make an extra piece. Um, like a cone on to go on the end of that. Um, I think I'm going to use some thinner stuff that I've got lying around. Um, that's more malleable because uh, this is uh, it's, it's reasonably thick stuff actually. Um, so yeah. So now we've got the transmission tunnel all sorted out, uh, which was full of holes and also joined together. So yes, um, it's starting to look um. Now, this just nicely fits in here, uh, which wasn't really intentional. That was an accident. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not, I've, it's been a long time in day. Um, I'm a bit stressed at the moment because my, my real car decided to take a shit and it's, the gearbox has gone. Um, so the good news is I'm making progress on this. The bad news is I'm just about to spend £800, which is about $900 on my real car. So any money I had for 
stuff has gone. What I've bought already is what's coming. <laughs> I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to buy anything else. And I had all sorts of projects lined up. Um, I got um, money for Christmas. I had £200. I sold some bits and bats, some birthday money and Christmas money added together. I had like £300. I was going to buy some alloys for my car. And I thought, do you know what? All those dozens of little bits for my cars for these that I wanted, I will buy those. And um, my real car decides to screw that up every single time. Anyway, so hopefully... Um, when I've got my car fixed, um, cause I'm off work today cause I've no car, I took a couple of days off, I thought I out walking to work and cause I walk for a living, uh, being a garbage man, a bin man, I walk most of the day and then walk home as well, I just thought, no, I'm not doing that. Um, yes, so I will need to trim those down, although the bumper nicely fits onto that, so I may leave that as it is and reuse the original bumper, I was going to make a bumper. Um, I've stopped for today because I have arthritis and all this metal work, it's like, a, even though it's only thin aluminium, I, I am struggling, man, struggling. Anyway, so there, that's all I've done for now, um, just thought I'd show you, um, I'm quite impressed with that. Now, it's held together with screws at the moment, uh, I have some JB Weld, which is what the back half is bonded together with, um, I will put JB Weld in it and then remove the screws like I did with the back. Um, and that has held up really well. Um, I, I tip this thing around all over the place. Um, so it actually looks like it's welded. <laughs> um, when I tidy that up and when I paint it, uh, it should look like it's welded. Um, whether I carry on with the red or repaint it, I don't know. Um, because I've done moving it around i've scratched it and marked it um so now it's a good time to if i go for another color change uh it run a cheap paint that you so i might actually sand it down and repaint it with proper paint now because i haven't got that's what i meant to say because the inner links aren't really fastened in i just screw them and set holes the link the, the axles aren't lined up properly um when i line them up properly obviously the you can see the knot like um, the knot in the middle um, so I will have to adjust those um, yeah, yeah as you can see look, they just held on my cable ties <laughs> still holes that were in there right now I've when I broke this um, this I managed to do this one intact this one I broke at both ends I'm going to redo that with JB weld and take the screws out of that as well because um, by the time I screwed these chassis rails into this chassis It'll be strong enough to take its licks. Um, I mean, I if I had picked this up by that part of the car before, there would have been cracking and clunking and all sorts, but this thing is pretty rigid, and uh, it's not going to be anywhere near as heavy as the other one. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Uh, just a brief update this time. Um, I've got to make the uh, front inner fenders wheel wells now. Um, not quite sure what material I'm going to make those out of. I have some like really thin, it's like 0.2 mil aluminium sheet out of a printing machine. I'll show you that in the next video. Uh, I feel because they're not going to be structural, they're only to keep the dirt out. I might make them out of that because um, that's fairly easy. It's fairly malleable, is that like I mentioned earlier? So, yeah, get out of my bag, you little monkey. Um, the gearbox is going in here somewhere. Um, I've worked it out. I can get the motor and the battery and the electronics all in the front here. Um, I'll just sort of like have the ma battery mounted here behind the grill. Um, I'll just sort of slot it in. I'll, I'll find somewhere mounting that. Um, the gearbox can go there and then I'll just sort of randomly place the electronics. So everything's at the front, all the wiring's at the front. Um, the drive shaft from the gearbox to the transfer case is, well, actually the easy part. Oh, that looks sweet. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, more as soon as my hands are able to bend metal. Thank you, and bye.